I made a video a few days ago talking about the fact that the S23 phones were not seen as being a very substantial upgrade over the prior devices. And in that video, I talked about the fact that maybe there are some upgrades that might be worth noting. Obviously, that camera might be vastly improved on the S23 Ultra 200 megapixel sensor. Some of the samples that were seen online, in particular, low light, do look very, very impressive. But another spot that I talked about is with the longevity, the efficiency, the battery life of this device. It is using a new processor, and this processor should be quite a bit more efficient than what we had before. And now, some battery tests are coming out, and it is indicating that that might very well be the case. The S23 Ultra in particular looks to be a large step up in terms of battery life. So the first set of results we're gonna look at, I came across on Twitter. I was unable to find the actual video. Apparently it is in Korean. Like I said, I was unable to find the original video to source this. And apparently this was effectively just a test based on playing a YouTube video continuously. And in that test, the S23 Ultra actually managed 20 hours and 7 minutes. That tops the iPhone 13 Pro Max. That tops the iPhone 14 Pro Max. And look at this here. The standard S23, which does have a smaller screen, a smaller battery as well, but that same new processor, which is the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. I always have a hard time remembering this thing's name. It's very confusing to me for whatever reason. Also managed 17 and a half hours. Managed to pretty handily beat the iPhone 14 Pro Max. This is very, very impressive. And then compared to the 22 Ultra, absolutely destroyed that number. An eight hour improvement. Now again, this is simply playing a YouTube video. So not a very good representation of normal use, but that's where this next video comes in. This was done by TechDroider and their test is a bit more comprehensive. It's actually open up that video and I'll kind of show you what's going on here. So in theirs, they run a series of tests that involve uh, launching and playing a game, uh, going to different websites, launching different applications, and they go through that. That is horrible to look at. They go through their own process and the results were equally Interesting. So the Pixel 7 Pro, which is one of my favorite phones in the market, managed eight hours and 50 minutes, which is not terrible. But next up, this is the S22 Ultra. So last year's phone, nine hours and 43 minutes, which notice the temperature here as well. That's actually pretty interesting to see. The S23 Ultra, though, jumped up to 11 hours and 15 minutes. So from nine hours and 43 to 11 hours and 15, that is a massive improvement over last year's phone. And then, of course, the iPhone, I believe this was the 14 Pro Max, came out on top by just, what, 10 minutes, 11 hours and 15 versus 11 hours and 25. And it was actually the hottest phone of the bunch. So in this test, the S23 Ultra has improved a ton once again and is now right there with the iPhone in terms of battery life. This is all extraordinarily promising for these phones. I do want to point out that they only tested the Ultra. They did not test any other S23 phone, but I would expect that with this new super efficient system on a chip, those phones probably also are seeing a pretty major benefit in longevity. Now, I will be doing my own tests, of course. I have the S23 Ultra ordered. I did go ahead and bite the bullet on this one. Will I keep it? I'm not entirely sure, but I do want to test. I want to compare it to my Pixel there over my shoulder, the camera, the battery, all that stuff. I'm very, very excited to get the test, all that stuff. But where my mind goes, yes, I'm excited about the S23 Ultra. I'm excited about these phones because this does look like a much bigger improvement than I think a lot of people were expecting. But the place my mind goes is towards the Galaxy Z Fold line. Because the Z Fold 5, which we do know is going to be sporting a pretty darn improved camera system, it's going to get this processor as well. And it's going to see a big improvement in terms of battery life as well. Something in the order of magnitude that we are seeing here with these phones. So I think as exciting as this is, for me, I'm all the more excited for the next Samsung Galaxy Z Fold, the Z Fold 5, which should be launching sometime around the fall, right around the same time as the Pixel Fold is likely to launch as well. Things are going to get very, very interesting this fall. Hell, there's a chance we might get a Surface Duo 3 right around that same time as well. So you're going to want to be subscribed to the channel to see all of this stuff be covered as it does happen. I will drop Links down below, really just a link to that check tech droider video because I don't know where that other one is. Like I said, was unable to quickly locate that one, but I will drop a link to the tech droider video down below so you can see that full 
video, see all the different apps that they use and check that out for yourself. Like I said, subscribe before you go. Check out my partner, Mint Mobile, to save a lot of money on your cell phone bill. Link to that down below as well. Of course, it is an affiliate link that does help support the channel. I'll see you on the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends. <laughs>